Hello, my lovers. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are doing great. If you're a passerby, you're welcome. And you are watching House of Love, where we discuss talents with nothing else but love. So if you feel like you want to be one of our lovers, you can just go ahead and strike on the red subscribe button down below and also on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So today I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the top five daily cases in Southern Cameroon. If you happen to visit the English part of Cameroon and you didn't taste any of these delicacies, in, it means that you never visited at all. So, so I'm going to begin with one of my favorites, which happens to be Eru. This is a specialty of the Bayangi people of the Manu region in southwestern Cameroon. It is vegetable soup made of finely shredded leaves of the aero or a cock. The aero is stewed with water leaf or spinach, palm oil, crayfish, and either smoked fish, cow skin, or beef. This dish is traditionally eaten with fermented water fufu or gari. If there is a party in Southern Cameroon without error, I don't think the party is complete. Trust me. <laughs> Alright, so the second on the list is Achu and Yellow Soup, which also happens to be one of my favorites. Yes. So, Acho is a delicacy mostly common in the northwest region of Cameroon. It is made with cocoa yams, spices. These are traditional spices that I don't actually know their names. They are, they are usually just grouped together and called Acho spices. Yes, so we have water, palm oil limestone which is commonly known as kanwa we have fish smoked fish beef cow skin commonly known as kanda and um, yes so acho is gloriously yellow it is a delicate soup it is always paired with mashed pounded acho cocoa this is also known as taro. That's the cocoa yam used to make the actual cocoa. Hmm, what is life without achu? <laughs> okay, guys, so now let's go to the next on the list. Number three, we have a kwang. A kwang. <laughs> a kwang. Hey, <laughs> a kuang. Actually, this is a dish which is very close to my heart. It is a Cameroonian dish that originates from the Oroko people in Dian Division in the southwest region of Cameroon. When I was young, we used to cook this dish frequently. Ekwang is an arduous dish consisting of several steps, including the peeling, grating, and wrapping of cocoyam paste into cocoyam leaves. It is then seasoned with flavor filled spices unique to Cameroon. Though many others have adapted this dish, the original Oroko way of making a kwang does not consist of tomatoes or onions. It is cooked with it is cooked simply with African spices and nothing else. Indeed, 
It's a finger-licking, mouth-watering dish that leaves a unique, a unique savor on the palate. And do away with forks and spoons. Eat with your hands for a fulfilling experience. After just a taste, after just a taste, you will definitely, you will definitely crave for more. <laughs> All right, so number four on the list, we have Kwakoko Bible. Kwakoko Bible is a major staple enjoyed by the Bakuri tribe in the Southwest province. Here is a grated kokoyam mixed with spinach. No, mixed with, anyway, um, in the diaspora, we usually do it with spinach because we can get of kokoyam leaves so it is usually mixed with kokoyam leaves smoked fish red palm palm oil and other traditional spices it is then wrapped in plantain leaves steamed until cooked through somewhat like this black eye fritters but with kokoyam well, why is, why is the name linked, linked to a Bible? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Kwakoko Bible. Of course, it is also one of my favorites. I have so many favorite dishes. <laughs> you know, in fact, I love good food. I love good food. Yeah. Any food that is good. I love it. So that's it about Kwakoko Bible. Number four on no number five on the list, which is the last, is known as cocky beans. Cocky beans is a traditional dish, if I'm not mistaken, known to the Basosi people in the southwest province of Cameroon. It is, of course, one of my favorite dishes. The cookie beans looks like a cake, yellow in color, soft and very tasty. This meal is very simple to prepare but takes a long time to cook. The traditional recipe which I learned from my mother requires very few ingredients. Black eye beans, palm oil, salt, pepper, water. Cookie beans, cookie beans. I love it, especially with the country beans. So cookie beans can actually be eaten with plantains, potato, yam, or bananas. So these are the top five delicacies you will find in Southern Cameroon. If you have been watching right up to this point and you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please strike on the red subscribe button down below and also on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next video. Goodbye.